The phenomenon is Rita McNeil. Apart from the records, she's sung for over a quarter of a million Canadians in concert halls across the country. And still, the music industry doesn't know quite what to make of her, whether to slaughter as folk or pop, soft rock or ballads. But the fans don't care about that. They know what she is. She's just like Rita. In certain shows, I get very terrified. And I, I'm standing behind the curtain, just literally uh, shaking. And uh, for just one second, I think, oh, I can't do this. I gotta be crazy, I can't go out there. And then, of course, my cue and I go, and, and then I'm fine. There was just no, nowhere to turn, and there was no encouragement. It was like a dead-end street. Some, some folks might say that, uh, you know, you had, a, mm -hmm. you had a good husband. You were the one who wanted to go flying on your own, yeah. buy yes. the ticket, take yes. the ride. Yes. Well, I did have a good husband, but it wasn't a good marriage, and it wasn't one that should have uh, stayed together. Uh, you can stay together for a lot of reasons. They would have been all the wrong reasons in my case and in his case. So that is not happiness. Well, a lot of people, Eric, have said to me after performance, oh, we knew you were scared the first song. Our hearts were with you. <laughs> so that kind of gives you, you know they're out there. It's sort of like they're pulling for you, so. What, what made you so shy as a kid, do you think? Well, um, when I was uh, uh, a young uh, person, I was born with a, uh, a cleft lip. And uh, that certainly was, uh, uh, of course, when you're young and you have some uh, affliction like that to you, it's the, the biggest uh, thing in the world. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be asking this question, but most people with a cleft lip sound differently, and yet you can sing so beautifully. Well, it, uh, I s have trouble. I used to have trouble when I was younger with uh, s a speech, and I never went for therapy or anything. But you are right. It, uh, it ha most people that I know that have a cleft lip, and particularly the cleft palate, their speech is, is greatly affected. But uh, uh, I... Uh, I think people like the way I sing. Maybe uh, uh, I've never noticed any uh, difference. Or uh... where do you get those pipes? I mean, is it just something God gives you, and you, you know, some folks can sing and some can't? Or, or did you have to work at it? Did you have to learn how to do it? No, I, to me, it was uh, certainly given to me as a gift of whatever, and uh, 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 basically self-taught. And uh, you learn as you go, sort of thing. I wouldn't ask you this if you weren't a performer, if you weren't a public person. But why don't you lose some weight? <laughs> well, funny you should mention that, and I guess I knew it was coming. I guess for the same uh, reason that a lot of other people that look like me don't lose weight. They, uh, you have to accept yourself the way you are. Not that I haven't tried every diet that's ever been out. Uh, How I've did you put it on? Well, now that's 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 a loaded question right there. How did <laughs> I you, put it But you you weren't always like this. You used to weigh what? Just over a hundred pounds. I used to weigh actually one hundred and twelve pounds many years ago, and I've had weight off and I've had weight on, and probably have much more on than I would care to have on. The weight is my problem. I'm carrying it. I'm dealing with it. That is my thing. It's uh, I don't judge others on how they look. Were you a real dish when you were 112? <laughs> was I? I still am a real dish. What do you mean, was I? <laughs> what? Something has touched you deep inside, and uh, you want to... Uh, my way of communicating with that, rather than talking about it, is to uh, the music and the lyrics uh, come together in my head, and it takes the shape of a song. <laughs> And for a lot of these people, they've never written a letter like that in their life. And they'll just sign at the bottom, I just wanted you to know. You come along and inspire people with this song, you can be anything you want to be. It's a nice thought, but you know, most of them can't. Most of them, of them can't, them. can they? Um, a lot of them, there's, there's just no, nowhere to turn. Uh, uh, but... Uh, if that shouldn't stop you from singing positive songs, because as I say, it can it can help. It really can. What did, what did you think about when you were cleaning the theater, 
back then. Boy, if I ever get rich. I never thought about being rich. I used to say, if I could sing, I used to get up on the stage sometimes with the mop <laughs> and pretend I was singing to an audience. Those are the things I dreamt about. Cleaning the theater in Toronto? Yes. Is it like you imagined then? Well, I don't have the mop in my hand anymore. <laughs> it's much better now. It's, of course, much more exciting, and uh, it's uh, just marvelous to walk out to a full house. It's just unbelievable. Maybe you should just say she's just like Rita. And, th and that's it. Forget Nana Mascuri, forget, forget Joan Baez. Forget, forget all those, yeah, just deal with Rita. <laughs>